morning everyone welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about scouting locations the importance of scouting locations and to do that i have come to uh, Folsom Lake driven about an hour to get here going to the other side of the lake because normally it'd be like a 15 minute drive but I thought I'd try something new today and uh, that's why we're making this video because I wanted to scout this out for some potential sunrise shots hence why it's so dark and uh, also just to uh, check out the location and see if it's a good place to go all right I'll see you guys when hopefully there's a bit more light because I can't see anything right now and there's no light out here I brought a light but I don't know how much it's gonna help so yeah, see y'all then. You know, so apologies for the uh, lack of image quality right now. So right now I am at, like I said in the intro, Folsom Lake. Today we're going to be talking about scouting locations and obviously you can tell by the light here that I am scouting a location for a sunrise shot. And the reason it's so important to scout is there's a lot of reasons why it's really important to scout your locations. And scouting locations isn't just for landscape photographers, it's for everyone. So if you're new to a location or even if you've been to a location a million times, there's always something different each time. So whether you're a landscape photographer, a you know, a portrait photographer, sports photographer, sports is a little bit tougher, but you know, still same rules apply. Um, it's really important to scout out your locations and figure out all the things that you need to. Scouting is the most important tactic and tool that you can use to help benefit your ability to create great content, great photos, great videos, whatever it is. As you can, well, as you can't tell right now because you can't really see the weather all that much, but it is insanely cloudy out right now. It's actually sprinkling a little bit, so I don't actually expect to get any shots of the sunrise itself. I'm more here for the purpose of just seeing the foreground seeing how the weather is or how the landscape is working right now because this is a lake so the levels you know rise and fall the water level is a lot lower there's going to be more of that island open so i can probably even walk over there and which i'm going to do right now actually and see if i can get an interesting you know long kind of shot of the lake um if the sun were to rise today <laughs> It's gonna rise, we're just not gonna see it here. Hopefully we do, that'd be kinda of cool. Gonna make myself when I'm vlogging, I usually walk into situations that I shouldn't be in otherwise, so. Mud, yay. But, about scouting locations. I thought I just heard someone, sorry. About scouting locations, so. It's really important that when you are working as a photographer that you try and make yourself look as prepared and as professional as possible. For some of us it's harder than others and for some of us that's much easier for others than others. But overall you want to try and look like you know what you're doing. So scouting helps with that because scouting helps you figure out what lenses you're going to use, what locations you're going to go to, everything. It helps you figure out absolutely everything. Is that, is that a coyote? I think it is. Let's see if I can get it on camera. It was like right, it's like right, oh God, you can't see it. Brokish. There, it was like right on the other side of that hill there. Come on. Come on, that little coyote. This. I am walking towards a island in the middle of a potential storm that has no cover with camera gear. Don't do this unless you have a lot of money, really good warranties, or like just like it's cool, I'm good, everything will be fine. You're just like a super optimistic person. Shh, that bird is 
so loud. It's morning, don't you know that? But yeah, don't do this, because this is really stupid to us. There, you can hear me at all, because this wind is insane right now. Um, but yeah, about scouting locations, and I'm gonna wrap this up, because I was gonna do this for a lot longer, but this wind is insane. Let me get my notebook out. I'm gonna read from that, because I can't remember any of it, so I don't want to stumble over anything and forget. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So like I was saying earlier, reading from my notebook, I wrote, you want to scout your location, why it's so important? Because every decision in your gear choice, when to shoot, and so on, will be solely based on the knowledge you gain from scouting the area. That is 100% true. This day is awful for that. I mean, if you feel like braving elements in order to scout, go for it. Um, I really don't right now because I was really just looking for foreground interest and uh, I think I found a pretty good spot off the bat. I'd like to find some more eventually one day. Maybe I'll come back next Sunday because I don't plan to do a shoot here anytime soon because it's still winter time. So um, maybe sometime later towards the spring I'll do it. But uh, for the most part, that is 100% true. When you're scouting location, even for portraits, it's so important to know exactly what focal lengths you want to be shooting with pretty much everything. So these geese, these geese over here, shh, shh, anyways. So yeah, everything really is solely down to you coming to the location and figuring out exactly what you're gonna be shooting. So um, if you're shooting landscapes and you need to know exactly what focal lengths you need, what um, filters you're gonna need, all that sort of stuff. Also just checking weather condition is really important too. Hence today, I mean, there's white caps on a lake and it's not even that big of a lake. Um, you'll cut down the amount of time and energy towards taking bad photos because you already know that it won't work and you can move on to a better spot. I'm gonna set it better myself, because I said it myself. That is so true. If I actually had time today, I could go around and check out different locations and take some shots and go home and see them and say, you know, that location didn't really work or I didn't like that composition or I should have tried a di different depth of field. So when you do come out on your actual shoot, you're not wasting your time trying to get these different shots that you just know won't even work. So it's far better value of your time to do this and try and figure it out beforehand and then come out here and you're just gonna cut down time, you're gonna be able to perfect the shots that you know are gonna work, or you can even just get those shots nailed down and maybe be more creative, be more exploratory, and try different things that you hadn't had before because you already know that the shots that you got are gonna work. Next point. If you are working with clients, it makes you look more professional when you already have spots picked out and aren't just like, yeah, go stand over there somewhere. I think that'll work because when you, are hiring someone to do a job, you want to feel confident in their ability to actually do the job. So that goes with any job whatsoever. So if you are even a landscape photographer, if someone hires you and says, hey, can you go take photos of this location? If you're a portrait photographer and someone says, can you take me here? I want to take photos here for whatever, or you're going to take them somewhere. It's a waste of their time if you don't know what the location's like, if you don't know what you're going to be shooting. It's a waste of everyone's time. So it makes you look more professional. It gets you repeat customers because they'll go and say to other people when they get asked, are they a good photographer? They'll say, yeah, he was great or she was great. They they knew exactly where to go. They, they put me in great locations. We didn't waste a lot of time. Boom, 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 I was done. You know, I got my photos back faster because you know, you weren't wasting time getting crappy shots, trying to try all these different sort of things. You knew the shots you were gonna get. You knew the focal lengths that you were gonna get. It just cuts down everything and it makes you just look so much more professional and it gets you repeat clients just knowing the location ahead of time.
It can also prevent you from having FOMO or fear of missing out because you already know what's over that hill a couple of yards over or did I shoot at the right settings uh, with the right lens at the best possible focal length. Like I've said, I don't know, it's like the fourth time I've said that now, it just gets the guesswork out of everything. You have everything planned as is, everything's all set up, ready to go in terms of your knowledge and capability of shooting the scene or shooting the location you're not wondering you know you know what's over there what's what's going on over there i don't i don't know and it could be the best thing ever there could be a giant massive waterfall that you can't hear because of whatever reason or there could just be this beautiful open vista or it's you know there's a construction zone going on here but you didn't go over here and it's perfect there's no you know obstructions or anything like that but now you have obstructions because you didn't take your time to go over there and take photos it applies to everything so just knowing that you researched and checked every location or every spot within your location just gives you that better feeling that I gave myself and I gave my clients and I gave whoever the best opportunity to see the work I can produce for them or for myself. So that's that's very valuable. Um, couple more points. Scouting locations can also give you more locations to shoot for other subjects. I can't, can't disagree with that. So. I might come here for a landscape shoot, but maybe when I was driving up, I saw a pull out or something like that, and I go down and I was like, whew, that'd be sick for a car shoot. Now I have another location for my car shoot. So I can add this to my repertoire. And when people say, hey, where do you shoot for cars? I can get this whole long list of places, and they're like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. It's not like two places, because then they're gonna be like, well, I want, you know, I wanna do this type of shot, or I wanna do this type of shot. I can give them, I can give them options, I can give them different looks and appeals and things like that. So I hope you guys can still hear me because I have no idea right now. But for anything, it helps for anything. Maybe it's not, like I said, maybe it's just down the road that way, but you saw it when you were getting to your prime location. It doesn't have to be at the location itself. It can be surrounded by it, but now you have this new place to go to or another place to explore. The world is a big, wide place. Everything, like they say, has been explored by somebody, but not you. So you still have to go there. You still have to check it out because going online, seeing photos, things like that, it doesn't give you the full perspective. It might give you an idea of what to expect, but it's not going to give you everything. So just checking stuff out, you know, maybe going on Google Maps and trying to figure it out. But for the most part, you should be at the location trying to figure it out. Um, yeah, I might just go look for compositions and things like that, but that's about it. Uh, for the most part, the sun was going to be the main interest point, so we'll see what happens. I mean, this shot here is actually pretty nice. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like this whole area back here is really, really nice. I think I might just get some photos of that and then call it a day because it's beautiful right there. So um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm sorry this is so short and dry. There's probably going to be like no B-roll whatsoever. I don't expect there to be. Um, I kind of just wanted to talk about this. I'll do a better job, hopefully, another time round. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to uh, subscribe and like and hit that notification button. I upload videos every Monday and Wednesday between 3 and 6, depending on how fast my computer exports stuff and how slow I am at editing. Um, so, yeah, uh, between 3 and 6, Mondays and Wednesdays, there's more of them. There's more of them. Good God. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you all next time. All right, bye.